If you just watched that video on downs, you might have heard me use a few terms like running and passing. And so that's what I want to look at in this video is what do these things mean? Because really what this all gets back to is how do you gain yardage? Because after all, you can't score without moving down the field. So let's take a look at how you move down the field. Um, so when your team is on offense, as we have this offensive team set up here, when your team's on offense, you have two options of how to move the ball forward. And the first one is called rushing, or sometimes you might just hear it called uh, a run. And then the sec second option is to pass the ball. Um, so it's either one or the other. Um, basically every play will result, it'll either be a rush or it'll be a pass. And so let's take a look at uh, rushing first. You see our two running backs uh, here in the, the backfield, is what we call the area behind the, the quarterback, um, or behind the offensive line. And so remember the, the ball will be here in the middle with our center, and he's going to snap it back to our quarterback. And everything really goes through the quarterback. Uh, the, the play will be called um, by probably the coach, and he'll he'll t tell the quarterback, and then the the team you'll probably see them huddle up before the play, and then the quarterback will explain to the, all eleven guys, um, this is the play we're going to do, um, and then the, they will all run up to their position and get ready because they don't want the defense to know. Uh, what what's coming. They don't want them to know if it's going to be a rush or a pass, and if it is, which direction is it going to go. So our running backs probably look a little different than they did in the position video. I think they were lined up uh, in goes the I formation, but again, there's no, uh, they don't have to stand in a specific spot. Um, so they can move around a little bit. There's some restrictions, but for the most part, they can move where they they want to. Um, we'll get into all the more detailed stuff later on. So for, for a rushing play, typically the guy who's going to be running is the halfback. And remember, it's kind of confusing because the halfback actually stands further back than the fullback. And the fullback is the guy in the middle. Sometimes the team, again, they won't even have a fullback. Maybe they have a third uh, wide receiver or something like that. For this play, let's say we have our fullback, we have our halfback. So the center is going to snap the ball to the quarterback, and then the quarterback he's going to turn around. Uh, and he's going the halfback's going to hand is is going to start running forward, and then as he's going by the quarterback, the quarterback is going to hand the ball off to the halfback, and so this we would call this a handoff. Um, and then the fullback will probably run up and he will block for the halfback because all these guys are the offensive line especially um, they're a bunch of big guys so they're going to get up there and they are going to push the defense back as far as they can so the halfback has room because the halfback is usually a smaller guy but he's really fast and so he's going to get that ball and he's going to run as far as he can, as he can, um, down the field. And so it might make a little more sense if you actually see it happening. So this is our quarterback here with the ball. He's he got the ball from the center, turn around, and then he's going to hand it off. You can see he's physically going to put the ball uh, into the chest of the halfback, and so he's going to give him the ball. And then we see our fullback out here in front. Uh, He's going up to block. So that's our quarterback handing off to the halfback. So that's a, a a rush play right there. So that's rushing. And so the halfback, um, it will be probably designed um, in the play that the coach calls where is he, where he's going to run. So is he going to run straight up behind the line or is he going to try to get outside? And it could be to either side, um, maybe kind of um, a kind of related play would be um, rather than actually handing the ball off he would he would pitch the quarterback would pitch the ball to the running back so maybe the the running back would 
start out going uh, toward the outside, and the, the quarterback would kind of underhand toss him the ball, and he would catch it and keep going. Um, so that would be a pitch play. But really those are all uh, rushing plays. So that's one way to do it, um, to gain yardage. As we said then, the other way is to pass the ball. And so to pass the ball is going to involve the quarterback physically throwing the ball through the air. And so it will usually be thrown to, to one of these guys, to his wide receivers. Uh, maybe sometimes the, the tight end uh, will have the ball thrown to him. So uh, again, before the, the play, the coach is going to call in the play and the quarterback is going to tell everybody. And, and when he tells them, he'll probably tell them in some kind of code that they um, understand. And so that will then determine which routes the wide receivers run. So kind of like the rusher or the running back, he can run to either side or wherever he wants to. The wide receivers, they can run wherever they want to, um, too. So once the play starts, maybe this uh, the wide receiver on the right will go out and he'll run across. Uh, and then maybe the wide receiver on the left, he'll just run straight as fast as he can. Uh, down the, the sidelines. Maybe the tight end, he'll kind of peel out over this in this direction. And so then the quarterback, so all these things are happening at the same time. And then the, so, and this all starts again when the court, when the center snaps the ball to the quarterback. That's when the play starts. That's when all these guys will start running. Maybe the running back is even involved in the play. He can go out, he can try to receive a pass too, or they can. Uh, block as well. So the quarterback will get the ball. He'll take a few steps back. We call it dropping back. Um, and he'll look for a, a wide receiver who is open. And that basically just means that um, does he think he can throw him, throw the wide receiver the ball without having the defense uh, either knock it down or catch it themselves. And that would be an interception. Um, we'll look at that in the next video, what an interception is. But um, So the quarterback, he's going to drop back. He's going to look for his open uh, receiver, and he's going to throw the ball through the air. Um, that receiver is going to come across, maybe catch the ball, and then as soon as he catches the ball, he's going to, to start running again because he's trying to gain as much yardage as possible. So he's going to turn upfield and try to run, obviously, the defense will be trying to stop him, uh, so they'll grab him and try to pull him down and tackle him um, as soon as they can. Uh, so, again, the picture here's a, a quarterback uh, dropping back, and he's looking for his his wide receiver who's open. Um, and then on the other end, the receiving end. Not all uh, plays will be this close. Uh, sometimes it'll be a, a real quick pass um, but this one it looks like the the receiver here he's obviously has to jump um, in the air over the the defender it looks like here who's trying to stop him he, so the receiver looks like he's gonna catch it here um, and looks like he's gonna get on to a, a touchdown um, so those are the two ways then the the rush or the pass and the rush those are the two ways that you can move the ball down the field.